Hi, my name is Andrea and today I'm going to design a fox for an animation I want to do. First things first, we need to look at some reference. Okay, here are some foxes. Videos are really good to look at too. I usually check out some other designs too, but I try not to reference anything too heavily. I don't want it to look like a ripoff. But it definitely helps to inspire good ideas. Just make sure to search for character design, not original character. Yeah, that's not inspiring. These are way better. On to the horrible blank page. <sighs> for animation, it's really important to come up with a design that's relatively simple. Remember, the more complicated the design is, the more you're going to want to kill yourself when you're trying to animate it. I have some tricks for coming up with a simple design. The first trick is to draw from memory, or from reference of something that is really small or too far away to see the details. When you draw from memory, you automatically simplify. Your brain can only remember noteworthy elements, so you can only really remember a simplified version of whatever you're drawing. If you're using reference that is really small or far away and hard to see, you can't get caught up in the details. You end up focusing on the basic shapes. The second trick is tiny sketches. When you draw really small, all your sketches end up more exaggerated and simple. So I'm going to draw a really tiny fox from memory. Their heads are kind of football shaped with a muzzle and eyes. Can you even see that? Here, I'll magnify it for you and add something for size reference. Yes, it's very small. There, design complete. Okay, not really, but I like it. It's simple and cute. Let's clean it up a bit. First, I have to make it a normal size. And let's make it blue so I don't confuse it with new lines. Right now, I'm just doing a draw over, adding a few details and fixing up a few things. But I want to keep the essence of the original sketch just a little more detailed and precise. I have to figure some things out too, like how I'm going to represent the fur and what these feet are going to look like. I went for a sort of matchstick or q-tip feet thing. Once I've basically traced it, I want to turn off the original sketch. And now I'm looking to fix any of the anatomy that might be a little bit off. It's important to do this when you've started with a small sketch because the sketch is probably a little wonky. I'll warp the ears a bit. And the face is wrong still. I'm adding one of those middle face line things. Like the kind you see in those how to draw books. This helps me recenter the face properly. Our brains like to ignore empty space. So a common mistake in drawing faces on an angle is to forget to leave enough extra space on the side that is closer to you. And the face often ends up lopsided, with the far side much bigger than the near side. That looks pretty good. On to inking. I'm just using a regular hard round brush with pressure sensitivity on. Inking is a motor skill you need to develop, and it takes time. But this is how it basically works. The direction and speed of the line is determined by your arm, and the pressure of the pen is determined by your hand. It's good to practice drawing the same lines with different pressures. Keep in mind the way you hold your pen comes into play. Anyway, once you got thick and thin down, Try undulating between the two. 
Then try flicks, where you start with heavy pressure and flick it away, lightening the pressure. And then the opposite, where you hack into the paper, light pressure to heavy. Once you have developed the motor skills, you'll find that inking is pretty fast and easy. I find I've always had more control with pen and paper than I do on the computer, but you can zoom in and undo on a computer, which makes up for it. There is, however, always the danger of undoing forever and never moving on. I try not to undo too much and rather say good enough, because it probably is, especially when you're animating and it really doesn't matter. Nobody's going to see those lines for very long at all. I'm just going to finish up these little details and voila, on to color. For characters, it's a good idea to keep your lines closed off because it makes coloring a lot easier. If it's closed off, you can easily color the basic shape by going to your magic wand tool and turning on continuous and sample all layers. And in the layer below the line art, select the outside of the character. Then expand your selections by just a few pixels so your selection is underneath the line. And then invert your selection. I use the shortcut so you can't really see, but shortcuts make everything faster. And then you just fill. I made it this orange color because it's a fox. And now I just quickly color the other parts. His eyes, his nose. If you color aliased, that is, if you zoom in you see a harsh cut between the colors rather than a blurry line, you can paint bucket fill after just going around the outside. Without aliasing it will look like this. And that looks bad. And you have to fix it. You can also make a selection, expand it, and fill. I'm just quickly going to color the line and add some highlights. For the shadows, you can make a layer over the paint layer. Make it a purpley gray color and set it to multiply. Then you can clip it to your color layer and mask it out and paint in the mask where you want it visible. I like to use a mask for this because it's easier to control, but you could just as easily paint it without the mask. You just have a harder time getting your color back if you get distracted and do something else. And now some highlights. I do the same thing I did with the shadows, but I set it to a light yellowish color and set it to overlay, mask it out and just paint those highlights on the opposite side of the shadows. Now I think I can call this fox design done. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good for some random tiny drawing I just did. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my other videos and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!